So welcome to the FedEx API integration part one. This is part one in a series of videos which teach you how to use the FedEx API. In order to access the FedEx API, you need authorization. FedEx supports OAuth 2.0, and I'm going to teach you how to pass the necessary data to the authorization endpoint in order to receive an access token. Once you have an access token, you'll be able to access data from FedEx such as rates and transit times, which I'll show you in my paid training on my website, swiftdials.com forward slash FedEx. To get started, you'll need to create a free developer account at developer.fedex.com. Enter your information on the form and then complete the registration. Next, make sure you're logged in so that you can create a project and then answer those questions. After creating a project, click your project name to get your API credentials. For this training, we're going to be using the test key and the test URL. But in a production environment, you're going to go over to the production key and use the production URL. Now let's get started coding. We'll be using PHP, which is server-side code, to get our access token from FedEx. First, we're going to create a variable to hold the URL, so we're going to type URL equals HTTPS colon far slash far slash APIS dash sandbox dot FedEx dot com forward slash OAuth forward slash token. Next, we're going to create another variable to hold the data for the request body which gets sent via a post request to the FedEx API. And this is going to consist of the grant type, the client ID, which is your API key, the client secret, which is your secret key. So let's type data equals grant type, client credentials, client ID. You're going to add your API key here and then client secret. You're going to add your secret key right here. Along with the request body, we also need a header. FedEx accepts the content type application forward slash x dash www dash form dash URL encoded. So we'll create this variable and call it options. It's going to be an associative array of associative arrays. So an associative array is a collection of key value pairs. We first create an array with the key HTTP and then inside that array we create a header key with the content type accepted by FedEx. You're going to create a method key, and the method we're using is post. The last key is content. We'll use the HTTP build query function and pass in our request body array. So type options equals array, HTTP equals array, header equals content type, and then put the content type, and then method equals post, content equals HTTP underscore build underscore query, and then we're going to pass in data, which is our request body data from above. All right, so now that we have the request body and the header data, we can create our stream context by declaring another variable, context. So we're going to type context equals stream underscore context underscore create, and then pass in options. So after we send that data to the FedEx API, we're going to receive a response back. And this is exactly what we've been waiting for. That access token is going to give us the keys to the kingdom. So we're going to create a variable that holds that precious data. We're going to use another function called file get content to retrieve the data. And then we're going to pass in the URL as the file name. We're going to set use include pass to false and then pass in our context, which holds all of our options data. So just to shorten it up, I'm going to type resp underscore JSON. Remember, this is a variable. It can be whatever name you call it. So it's going to be resp underscore json equals file underscore get underscore contents. And then we're going to pass in the URL as the file name. Then we're going to set use include paths to false and pass in our context, which shows all of the options data. If everything goes well, your data will be in the JSON format. We're going to use the function JSON decode to convert the data into a PHP value. And then we're going to save it in a variable called response underscore data. So type response underscore data equals JSON underscore decode and then pass in that response. Now you'll be able to use your access token. So we're going to create another variable and we're going to name it access underscore token equals response underscore data and then access underscore token. Now let's use an if statement to check to make sure the token exists. We're going to type if is set access underscore token. We're going to echo out the token. 
and you'll be able to view it when you navigate to your URL. So we're gonna go echo access underscore token. So I'm gonna head to the URL swiftdials.com forward slash FedEx dash API dot PHP. This is gonna allow you to see the token in your browser when you navigate to your URL. In order to access part two of this video, click the link in the description.